I just had the snap ring pliers. In this video, I'm going to be working on this Troy built push mower right here. As you can see, the front wheels are all locked up and this is just no good at all. This probably happened because something happened to the engine and it wouldn't start, so they just pushed it out in the rain and then the rust took over and seized up the front wheels. But I'm going to show you some real good tips and tricks on how to fix this and get it running real smooth again. Now this lawnmower's carburetor is all gelled up is what I've found. And if you need some help with yours, if this happened to you, I'm going to reference you to this video above. If you're a subscribed member to my community, then welcome back. If you're new to my channel, consider clicking that subscribe button below and please like this video if it was helpful for you. So without further ado, let's dive right in. So yeah, this wheel is pretty well locked up. It's uh, what happens when these things sit outside. They're really not made for that. Um, first thing you're going to want to do is take the nut out of the middle here. It's a 9 16 And the wheel is supposed to come right off. Now I've already taken this wheel off, but I had one heck of a time doing so. Um, try to spin the wheel like this back and forth and pull at the same time and that still didn't work, I wound up, if you have a puller like this, lightly put a tug on that, right? And then as it's tugging, then you can wiggle it around and as it moves back, then you can tighten it up a little bit. Keep doing that until it comes off. I should have filmed it with me taking it off, but I was just in such a struggle, I couldn't get the wheel off. So this is all I did was, kept wiggling it, wiggling it, and pulling at the same time, wiggle, pull, and then finally it came off. Okay, so as you can see here, the inside of the gear on the wheel is in good shape. Uh, so that's good news, we don't have to buy a new wheel. But this gear right here is quite rusty, and there's a little cog that's in there that moves back and forth that allows us to move freely in one direction and not freely in the other direction. Well it's grabbing on both directions so as you can see this is full of rust so we need to take that apart and clean it if you have a pair of snap ring pliers that would be ideal because we do have a snap ring in the middle here be careful with these snap rings because if they get loose on you they'll fly away just like the song All right, I saw I heard the pin fall out. So yeah, it's kind of rusty. Um, I'm just gonna clean this up with a wire wheel and um, I'm gonna clean this up right here with some steel wool and then I'm gonna put it back together. Alright, the bench grinder wire wheel cleaned us up pretty good, but I couldn't quite get inside of here. So I'm just going to use a, a, a Dremel to finish that off. Get it nice and clean in there. And to finish this up, I'm going to use a little brake clean on here. And I am going to use the steel wool here, where I couldn't hardly get the uh, wheel off. I'm also going to clean up this pin that goes through here. This is the pin that moves back and forth to uh, work that one-way cog. All right, if you really want to clean it good for the inside of the wheel, you can cut off a little piece of steel wool and then soak it down with some cleaner and then push a screwdriver through there. All right, so I got a little piece of steel wool in there. I'm just going to 
Give it a squirt and then push this, push it through with a screwdriver. And just do that three or four times. So you came out the other side, just push it back and forth. Once you get everything cleaned up, I would uh, take a little dab of grease, just a small dab, and put it on there. Put that in there and spin it around a little bit. You don't want to use too much grease on this because it gets a lot of um, dirt and that dirt will mess up that grease. So use it very sparingly. Put a little bit on this shaft right here. And there we go. That's starting to work now, like it's supposed to. It's, it, it moves in one direction, but locks in the other, see? That's what it's supposed to do. And then I would put just a, just a small film of grease here where the wheel goes. All right. Put the snap ring back. Don't forget that. So yeah, I just remembered I forgot to put this dust shield back on here. There we go. Put the wheel back. Oh yeah, that's better. All right, I'm gonna do the very same thing to the other side. Okay, so I got the wheels working good, both sides. Uh, I'm just going to pull this cover off to, uh, to check the belt and see if anything looks, uh, looks bad in there. Uh, this step may not be necessary, but I just wanted to take a look. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. A little bit of grass in here that I'll clean up. I mainly just wanted to see this uh, pull cable working right here. Let's give that a check. Oh yeah, that's working fine. So I'm going to clean this up and uh, put the cover back on and then we'll be back for a test.